what? You're being weird. I'm not being weird. You're being weird. All right, maybe I'm being a little weird. Okay, why? Because I need to ask you something. Are you about to get deep again? I don't know, maybe. Why do you always have to beat around the bush to say it? I can't just say it. There's precision in asking a question. Okay, stop being weird and just ask me. Will you go out with me? Yes. Wait, really? Yes. Well, I just, I had this whole plan. I was gonna ease you into it and I, I figured. We've basically been dating for weeks. Not officially. No, not officially. But now we're official. Now we're official. Are you gonna keep repeating everything I say? No. Are you gonna stop asking me dumb questions? No. I feel like I should kiss you now. Then kiss me. We're at work. When has it ever stopped you from doing something? This is a delicate situation. See how easy it is to just do it? You make it easier than it is. You're being weird again. No, I'm not. Okay, seriously, we can't keep doing this. Spit it out. What do I call you? Zari? <laughs> no. <laughs> like instead of boyfriend or girlfriend, what do I call you? Oh, whatever you want. Partner? That makes me think of a cowboy. Significant other? That makes me feel old. Uh, you figure it out then. Sweets? No. Sweetie? No, that's what my mom used to call me. Why don't you just call me? Cutie. You'll be my cutie. You're pretty damn cute, I think it fits. Oh, so I'm cute, but I'm not sweet. You're sweet too. I just, I don't want to think about my mom when I talk about you. Is something funny? Well, no. Well, kinda. It's just that Emmett took me here for our first date. Seriously? Yeah, we had a picnic right over there. Well, I only brought you here because you mentioned that it was so pretty. It's okay, Finn. It's a nice park. Me, Emmett, your friends. I guess you just have to bring everybody here. Just tell me you did not plan a picnic. I didn't. The other day, you told me that you've been feeling really inspired lately. So, I wanted to bring you to a really pretty place so that we can paint. You said you hate painting. Well, you love painting. And when you get in the zone, you get this cute little look on your face. And I might hate painting, but I don't hate that look. Okay, Mr. Smooth Talker, <laughs> lead the way. What is going on? Max just asked me out. I thought you two were already going out. No, not officially, but we're officially going out. I was under the impression that you two were already married. Well, we're not, but we're going on a date. A real date, my first real date, Candace. I know, I know. You look like a cute little puppy. You're in love. Um, love is skipping a few steps, don't you think? Love doesn't have a timeline. Ew, that was sappy. I'm just showing my sport. No, you're speaking from the heart. What does that even mean? You're in love too. <laughs> I'm not in love. Fine, but you're definitely falling. What are you even doing? Is that homework? Yeah. You don't have homework. Now I do. No, you don't. <sighs> Fine. It's Isabel's. I'm reading over her essay for her. She asked you to read her essay for her? Yes. Why'd you say it like that? No reason. This is gonna sound weird, but have you ever felt like your body was strange? Every time I blink, I want him to be there when I open my eyes. Every time I take a step, it's like I'm climbing a staircase. You know I've had trouble breathing since I met him? <laughs> the crazy part is, I didn't even realize what I was feeling. I was so distracted, but now that I do, I kind of want to keep feeling it. Is that normal? 
You're in deep. Oh, like you're any better. What does that mean, Isabel? What about her? You're in deeper. I didn't say shit. You think we can't tell? There's nothing to tell. I do this all the time. You chase girls all the time, yes, but you don't fall for them and you're falling. There's no way I'm falling. This is different. It's sad and depressing and I hate it. You look at her like she's the most beautiful thing you've ever seen. Like she's the reason you're breathing. Tell me you don't have feelings for her. I didn't mean to. I mean, I've never felt like this before. She's all that I think about. I want to be with her all the time. When she walks in the room, it knocks the air out of my damn chest. She's supposed to be like all the other girls. But it got out of control. Those aren't bad feelings, Candace. How would you feel? If the girl that you liked was so pretty and so perfect, and she wasn't into you. You'd be all cheesy and depressing, right? You know, you sound really sure, but you don't know that she doesn't like you. She's told us a million times that she's straight. Yeah, you used to swear you were straight too. You know how it is, you can't come on to a straight girl. And even if she is gay, it's not good to pressure her. And let's say she does come out, and I get lucky. It's not like it's gonna work out. Never has before, right? Look. I know we keep telling you to back off, but you don't have to back off. Just ease up. Change it up a bit. Okay, let's, let's try that again. Talk to her. Be honest. Be yourself, but don't force it. No offense, but that was shit advice. You want me to go up to Isabel and tell her how I feel? Yeah, why not? Look, you never know if you don't try. Love is fun, but it's also scary. I'm not really in the mood to be scared anymore. <sighs> yeah, me neither. <laughs> Your painting's never gonna get finished if you keep staring at me. Well, it's not like I'm gonna do anything with it anyway. Maybe I want it. You want my painting? Yes. Why? Um, <laughs> because it looks like this. It's cute. So the only time you lie to save someone's feelings is when you're talking about my art skills? Maybe I just want to make sure that you keep painting with me. Maybe I'll keep painting with you no matter what. Let's make it fun. Isn't this already fun? I mean, for you. Let's play Pictionary. That way, we can both paint like shit. Okay, hold on. Just try to guess what I'm drawing. Right. Uh, a chicken? No. Um, a tree house? A, a beetle? A, a, a heart shaped cookie? I thought I was supposed to be good at this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm terrible at Pictionary. Your painting is great. Okay, now you're lying to me. Maybe, <laughs> maybe we don't need to play Pictionary. How about you keep painting and I'll watch you? You want to spend the rest of our date just watching me? Yeah. Isabel, are you asleep? You're laying on me, you know. You're so beautiful when you're sleeping. All that stress and worry gone. You're not thinking about what to do or say. You're just comfortable. You're not freaking out because I'm here. And here I am talking to myself. Sorry gave me advice a couple days ago. She said that I should tell you how I feel. Confess my feelings for you out in the open. But I am more confused now than ever. A couple days ago, you told Raylan that you had a crush on someone. <laughs> I want that so badly to be me. But how will I know? 
I tell you, and you're straight, and then you're uncomfortable with me all over again, and I don't tell you, and here we are, stuck, never moving, never getting out. I don't want to be stuck here, admiring you from a distance forever. <laughs> I just got here. Oh, are you leaving soon? We could watch something. This new movie just came out. I think you'll like it. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we could do that. There could be children in this park, you know. I don't see any deer. Well, I mean, no, but there could be. Ariana? Emmett? What are you doing here? We were coming to play basketball. Is this Finn? Hey. Hey. Emma? Hey. What is happening right now? You're the guy that came in to ask Ariana out, right? That's me, yeah. He is cute. Emma, seriously? Are you, are y'all on a date or something? They're obviously on a date, dude. <laughs> it's just a question. It was a stupid question. <laughs> yeah, we are. Well, you you knew I was seeing him. I told you about him. I just didn't think I'll see you seeing each other. Do you want to join us, join us for a game? Uh, no, no, that's okay. I think um, we're about to go here. I, I thought you said your friends were meeting you here. No, no. Finn, do you want to help me clean up? We should go out on a double date sometime, Ari. Me and Brian, you and Emmett. Uh, yeah, sure. Sounds super fun. Well, um, we should start before the party is over, right? Yeah, let's go. I'm down. Bye, Ari. Bye. Bye. See you. Oh my god. That was awkward. Yes, it was. You know, he's cuter than I expected. I gotta step up my game. So not what I'm thinking about right now. <laughs> We can ride. 